Horatio Spafford was a well-known businessman and lawyer in Chicago during the 1860s. However, in 1870, things started to go wrong. Horatio's only son was killed by scarlet fever at the age of four. A year later, it was fire rather than fever that struck. Horatio had invested heavily in real estate on the shores of Lake Michigan. In 1871, every one of those holdings was wiped out by the Great Chicago Fire. Aware of the toll that these disasters had taken on the family, Horatio decided to take his wife and four daughters on a holiday to England. So the Spaffords traveled to New York from where they were to catch the French steamship Ville du Havre across the Atlantic. Yet just before they set sail, a last minute business development forced Horatio to delay. Not wanting to ruin the family holiday, Spafford persuaded his family to go on as planned. He would follow on later. With this decided, Anna and her four daughters sailed east to Europe while Spafford returned west to Chicago. Just nine days later, Spafford received a telegram from his wife in Wales. It read, Saved Alone. On November 2nd, 1873, the Ville du Havre had collided with the Lochern, an English vessel. It sank in only 12 minutes, claiming the lives of 226 people including Horatio's four daughters. Upon hearing the terrible news, Horatio boarded the next ship out of New York to join his bereaved wife. During Horatio's voyage, the captain of the ship called him to the bridge. A careful reckoning has been made, he said, and I believe we are now passing the place where the Ville de Havre sank. Horatio then returned to his cabin and penned the lyrics of the great hymn, It Is Well. The words which Spafford wrote that day came from 2 Kings 4.26. They echo the response of the Shunammite woman to the sudden death of her only child. Though we are told her soul is vexed within her, she still maintains that it is well. And Spafford's song reveals a man whose trust in the Lord is as unwavering as hers was. It would be very difficult for any of us to predict how we would react under circumstances similar to those experienced by the Spaffords. But what we do know is that the God who sustained them would also be with us.